in this video i will talk about uh, how to use one of the out of the box templates and i use one of the sample machine to to basically replicate uh, how to do it uh, do it in a machine that's uh ml uh, c 600 i have a lot of questions regarding uh, how to load a uh, siemens uh, uh post processor for a siemens 840d um so we'll take one of the out of the box and we can use it for this machine and then we can um, customize from uh, going from there so let's uh, start from this let's say give it a name i will load this file in the google drive you can download and you can uh, follow along so now we need to insert a machine based model Select all the so all the uh, the models that I'm selecting right now are going to be the machine base, meaning it won't uh, move. Uh, so that's uh, you select all the compounds and then you can go and select uh, either in the compounds here or you can select it over here um so now we need to define a junction let's say we have a let's put it right in the basically uh, machine zero junction is where the all the axis when you do a zero return that will um, Reside and uh, go and uh, go to the machine zero point. Uh, so it's basically it's a posture. So now we need to find out uh, what's the so basically the center of this uh, circle. So now we need to put it right in the center of the spindle. So x axis is pointing to the right and y towards the back, z towards uh, the top side. It's looking good. That's your uh, machine zero junction. Let's, uh, if you want to define your uh, A rotation, we can define the A rotation too. So let's say add one more. So now let's uh, call it a uh, A rot. Let's put it right here. So now the A axis, uh, the A table, then you need to rotate around your X. So that's right there. So let's call it good. So now if you look at what we got right now, we define your machine base. We need a machine zero junction and your A rotation. So now let's uh, define the other components as well. Below that, insert machine component. Let's give it a... a Table. So now this, these are the components I defined so that we can start uh, defining the collision paths. Uh, I want to keep it as a, this one as a, the three different parts. Uh, one part will define all your uh, machine tool builder. Then we will uh, go and uh, find out from uh, out of the box one of it, uh, the similar templates. We'll put it in. And the final, uh, we will add at the part and we will try to customize our post processor that we took it from the out of the box. So let's do it on the Siemens 840 because that's what I get a lot of questions regarding that. Good, so now we got, um, so now we will do a uh, C. Underneath the C table, we will uh, set up our uh, the complete setup. So the setup will uh, you got uh, part, workpiece, fixture, and uh, uh, all those things you can uh, put it in. All right, so now we need to for the setup. Let's go and uh, select what, what we need for class V under class V components. Setup element. Okay. So now we get um, 
So let's uh, find out the classification. What are the classification we needed? We have the mission zero junction, uh, mission based mission zero junction. Then uh, we need to we'll be selecting a. Uh, most of the times the Hemi machine, the the C axis table itself will be uh, almost like a spindle. So you can uh, spin it at whatever the RPM need is almost similar to a lathe. You can define your uh, lathe plane if you want. Let's keep it simple for this one. Uh, let's um, for now let's keep on uh, adding only what the milling machine needed. So let's here set up part. Okay, now uh, we'll, uh, so maybe if you want to add a lathe, uh, let's, we can uh, configure a, a lathe spindle. Let's um, give it a lathe spindle. Let's, this will be a jun junction. Let's, uh, so you want to be in X and Y plane. Okay, so now we want to define the junction as so let's uh, we can uh, define as uh, x uh, z x what plane. Okay, so once you pick up the in the classic compound, once you pick up the lead spindle, it will uh, pop up in the below classic junction. It will pop up with the options that you want to select. So let's like selecting a uh, lead what plane. So now we will uh, we define all that uh, the bottom side. So now we need to go and pick up the uh, components. Let's go pick up the machine component. So this is what we need for this A table. So for a uh, C table, we need to pick up a component here. Let's uh, pick, pick this one up. Okay, so now let's, uh, before we define our axis, let's go and define all the, the slides. And for the mission base, insert mission component. Let's give it a Y slide. Again, uh, for the reference for the Y, all the slides. Since this machine, uh, we can use a mission base junction as here the, the reference for that. For that, inside the Y slide, we'll um, X. Z. Let's say spindle. Now for the spindle, we need to select either uh, the spindle we need to put a tool mount junction, or we can uh, put it in the pocket. Let's see. It depends upon uh, what uh, we're gonna choose for uh, uh, the. Let's see if uh, now if I go to tool mount. Then uh, we need to make sure that uh, because that's out of the box, it's always uh, defined. The spindle device is defined with uh, yes. So let's pick up the same uh, same one. So it's going to be a static dynamic. Let's see. I think it may be a dynamic. Let's see. Spindle. We need to define the spindle. So once you put the axis, we need to. So always when you're defining your uh, spindle mount junction, let's the junction is going to be the x is going to face inside the spindle. So now let's give it minus ninety. So yeah, once you classify some mount tool mount.
So now it's um, let's call this window. You will um, see a different junction. Let's pick it up, uh, pick it right. Uh, let's classify this one as a tool mount. So a device. Okay. So now inside this one, let's start dipping our pocket. It's going to be a dynamic holder. And for the device details, we need to we will upload it in. So now, let's say it's going to be the since the the video right now I'm recording is going to be like 15 minutes, so I'm going to try to define only three or four pockets. Again, it's a dynamic holder. So for now, we can. Uh, We'll start defining our access we are pretty uh, we're getting close to 15 minutes i'm gonna load the file in the google drive you can download and uh, start defining this one the next one like i said we'll uh, pick up the out of the box template and uh, put that in and uh, we'll start customizing our post processor for siemens 840d Okay, let's start defining our axis now. So now inside the table, we need to insert axis. Now let's give it a A. So now we need to rotate, uh, tilt that uh, A rotation around your uh, A rod. So it's going to be a minus X. Reason being is now the part is rotating, not the, straight, not the tool is rotating. So the, uh, the tool is so we need to put minus around minus X. It's going to be rotary limited and see axis. Let's give it an axis of uh, four. So if you put x, y, and z as one, two, and three, uh, for uh, a is uh, this one. So let's give it a zero, one, ten. Let's give it a minus one, ten, minus one, ten. So for the now, we can we can leave it all as, as it is. So you can see that it's moving right. Okay. Now similar scenario. Okay. So now we need to define your uh, c-axis. Okay. So now we let's insert. Insert axis. All right, now this one we can use it as a respect to spin a lead spindle. So it's going to be a rotary unlimited and c axis number five. 